So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can implement a N Queens problem onto your C or your C++ code. But before that, it'll be better if I just give you guys a quick recap about what a N Queen problem is. So what an N Queen problem states that um, on a chessboard, okay, you cannot place two queens such that they're in the same row, okay. You can you can't place two queens in the same column, or you can't place any two queens in the same diagonal. As you can guys can see, this figure all the conditions are being satisfied right okay so um, how do you put this in an algorithmic point of view well um, if we consider this matrix drawn right here um, let's have to check whether Q1 and Q2 have been placed correctly algorithmically um, firstly I'll have to check whether they are in the same column okay so C1 shouldn't be equal to C2 as C1 is equal to 1 and C2 in our figure is equal to 2 and they're not equal, this condition is being satisfied. The condition number 1 is satisfied. Now let's take the second condition. It states this condition implies that they shouldn't be in the same diagonal, right? So these, as you can see, Q1 and Q2 are in the same diagonal and our algorithm should stop there. It shouldn't allow us to place the queen Q2. So what it states that, that the here, this means the absolute value. I haven't mentioned it, okay? This is the absolute value. So the absolute value of C1 minus C2, that is um, 1 minus 2, shouldn't be uh, equal to the absolute value of R1 minus R2. So C1 minus T, C2 is giving me my 1 because I'm taking the absolute value, okay, and um, plus 1, and R1 minus R2 is giving me um, 2 minus 3. So that's also 1. Okay, so since these are equal, I cannot place it, and hence my algorithm wouldn't let me place it. So how do you put this into uh, a C code? Let's see. We start off with the main, and we ask the user for the number of queens. And depending upon the number of queens, we initialize a n by n matrix, um, as shown in the figure here. Okay, and we um, these dot indicates a blank space, that is, none of the queens have been placed here. Okay, and we first make a function call to n queen apologies this is 1 and not 0 and now let us we're gonna see what this n queen function is okay so this n queen function takes the input of a row we have inputted 1 here that is for row number 1 on which corresponding column can I place my queen can I place it at 1 comma 1 can I place it at 1 comma 2 or 1 comma 3 or 1 comma 4 so this feasible function here will is exactly gonna do that it's gonna it's going to return a true value if I could place a queen at the corresponding row and column combination and it's going to give me a false value if I cannot place my queen at the row and column combination so first parameter passed to this feasible function would be 1 comma 1 since my chessboard is empty the value returned would be true so I'm going to update it okay and we are also going to make a note about what we had called so for r is equal to 1 my i was also 1 now we place a function call to n queen row plus 1 what does that do um, r becomes 2 and I have to find okay whether on which row which corresponding column that is 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 or 2 comma 4 can I place my queen going back to our matrix I cannot place that 2 comma 1 because my um, it's the columns it, 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 1 would be in the same column I cannot place it in 2 comma 2 because 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 would be in the same diagonal but I can place it at 2 comma 3 okay so I'm gonna place it here at 2 comma 3 okay so let's just make a note of it when my R was 2 my I was 3 okay so now again it makes a function call and this time my r is equal to 3 and I have to find my i. Okay, so you know the drill. 3 comma 1, it can't be placed here because it's in the same column. 3 comma 2, it can't be placed here because it's in the same diagonal. 3 comma 3, can't be placed because it's in the same column. And 3 comma 4, also it can't be placed because it's in the same diagonal. So what happens now? You remember guys that we have made a recursive call that is if this function n 
it goes back to the previous state where we left it. So since it, this function didn't return any value for r is equal to 3, it goes back to this previous state. Okay? And now, it's going to start from where we left. So here, what it does it, first thing it does is going to convert this queen which we had allocated to a blank space. That is, 2 comma 3 is first going to be converted into a blank. So we're going to erase this queen and replace it with a blank space indicating that no queens have been placed. Because as you can, guys can see, or have, oh, I'm sorry, um, as you guys can see here, we have replaced it with a blank space. Okay, so what next? It's going to check my i becomes 4, okay, my i becomes 4, and it's going to check whether I can place it at 2 comma 4. Can I place it at 2 comma 4? Yes, I can place it at 2 comma 4. Okay, so let's place the queen at 2 comma 4. Let's go ahead. This is how backtracking works, and algorithmically, algorithmically um, I know it's really slow, but the computer evaluates it really, really fast, and you will, you will get the output within microseconds, okay? So, um, firstly, I'm going to explain you guys what this feasible function is, and how is it defined. Okay, so, in this feasible function, we're going to check the board for the previous queens. That is, if uh, this is the current scenario, okay, of our chess board, okay? And the queens are already placed at 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2. And let's say I am looking out to place a queen at 3 comma 3. Okay. So first my i is equal to 1. And I'm going to get the corresponding column by this get mark column function. Um, if you read it, you'll understand it. There's no need to explain it. Okay. So let's say my i here is 1 and my column is also 1. So remember in the first slide we had uh, studied those conditions that it can't be in the same column if C2 was not equal to C1. So we check whether the columns are equal or we check whether the absolute value of the rows and the absolute value of the columns are equal. If they are equal, then we return a false value and if they are true, we return a true value. Okay, but how long will we, con will we continue? We scan the whole chessboard, that is from i is equal to 1, till the end of the chessboard we check for each and every row where the queen is placed and corresponding to that position we evaluate whether our new queen can be placed safely okay so this is how it works now I'm going to show you guys a quick demo okay by inputting a value and show you how the result turns out to be okay one more thing um, by uh, keeping on call by keep on calling the recursive call once we reach the row number four and we make a call to n queen 5 it goes to the l statement right it goes to this l statement and um, if the number of rows is greater than our n it prints the matrix okay so let's see the demo